Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the first part of the USA's Western Desert case study, focusing on the economic opportunities found in the desert. If you haven't studied this case study, you may wish to watch the Tar Desert videos instead. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. We need to start off this video by locating the Western Desert. The Western Desert is in the United States of America and is made up of three different hot deserts. The Mojave Desert, part of the Sonoran Desert and part of the Chihuahuan Desert. The Western Desert is in southwestern USA and it covers around 200,000 kilometres, spanning parts of California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona and New Mexico. Population density in the desert is low, with most people living in cities such as Phoenix in Arizona and Las Vegas in Nevada. However, despite the harsh environment, the Western Desert offers many opportunities for economic development. The first economic activity that we are going to talk about is mineral extraction in the Western Desert. The Western Desert has an abundance of valuable materials such as copper, uranium, lead, zinc and coal. The Sonoran Desert has experienced copper mining for hundreds of years. In the past this was relatively small scale but the discovery of water supplies below ground has meant that large scale open cast mining can now take place. However there have been issues of conflict with other economic activities including tourism and farming which has meant that some minerals haven't been fully exploited. Environmental concerns have also stopped some energy developments. For example, there were plans for uranium mining close to the Grand Canyon. However, these were stopped following a campaign by local indigenous people who voiced their concerns about the risk to endangered species of wildlife and the contamination of drinking water supplies. If you don't know what uranium is used for, it is used in nuclear power plants to generate energy. So this would have been hugely important for the local economy. Let's move on to energy development in the Western Desert. The Western Desert has long sunny days, so it is a great location for generating solar energy, with many solar farms planned across the region. One of the world's biggest is the Ivan Pass Solar Electric Generating System in the Mojave Desert. This is 64 kilometres southwest of Las Vegas. Sunlight here is focused on 173,000 heliostat mirrors, each measuring 7 metres squared. These reflect sunlight onto three 138 metre high solar towers. The heat from the sun generates steam to drive turbines that generate electricity for 140,000 homes. The project cost $2.2 billion and it covers around about 360,000 hectares of land. The vast open space also means that the landscape is exposed with nothing to reduce wind speeds. As a result, the desert is also home to the Outer Wind Energy Centre, also known as the Mojave Wind Farm. This wind farm has 600 turbines and is the USA's largest wind farm and the third largest onshore wind energy project in the world. There are also large rivers running through the region, such as the Colorado River. This means that some communities can get their energy generated by hydroelectric power using things such as the enormous Hoover Dam, which was constructed in the 1930s and led to the formation of the Lake Mead Reservoir behind, which is an important store of water for the area. There are also many opportunities to exploit fossil fuels in the Western Desert. For example, oil drilling has taken place for over a century in Arizona on land owned by the Navajo people. In 19... 98, the Navajo Nation Oil and Gas Company was established to benefit the local Navajo communities, providing hundreds of jobs. The next economic activity provided by the Western Desert is farming. Long hours of sunshine make favourable conditions for growing crops, 
and the fact that the USA is a high income country means that the issue of water supply can be managed through investment into irrigation using aquifers and canals. Aquifers are large stores of water trapped below the ground in rocks. This can be used by digging boreholes or wells and is used to provide irrigation in California for vegetables, lemons and grapes and therefore sources a very profitable wine industry. Canals are used throughout the region for large-scale commercial agriculture to produce crops such as wheat and in the state of Colorado farmers get 80% of the available water despite agriculture only contributing to 10% of the economy. Finally, we are going to talk about tourism in the Western Desert. Tourism is the region's most important economic activity, and there are many tourist attractions in the Western Desert, including national parks such as the Grand Canyon and the Joshua Tree, which offer wild and spectacular scenery, the Colorado Museum in Arizona, which explores the culture and heritage of Native Americans, Obviously, the bright lights of Las Vegas, which you can see on the screen. This is an entertainment hub that attracts over 37 million visitors annually and is probably one of the most famous cities on the planet. And finally, we have Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which are visited by over 2 million people every year who come for sailing, power boating, water skiing and fishing. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the different economic activities taking place in the USA's Western Desert. Thank you for watching.